Welcome, Welcome to, to Your Anime, Anime Senpais. Senpais. I'm Richard. And I'm John. And John, today we are joined once again by Jackie. Hello. Thank you for joining us in this uh, fourth season of My Hero Academia. Mm-hmm. So, that we're, the first season that we're reacting to, but fourth season overall. Uh, and this is, of course, the first episode of this season, or the 64th of the entire series. Yes. Mm-hmm. But uh, in any case, before we get into this episode, though, this season, let's, uh, let's talk about last episode from the previous season. So, episode 63, or... Um, whatever it was, uh, episode what, 12 uh, or yeah, something. Okay, so from the last episode, we had the students, they were told that they are going to be taking part in internships or uh, work studies, as they as the t- subtitles called it, but I'm pretty sure it's just called internships. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh, the ones that are introducing them to this concept is uh, the big three, which are the seniors of, of the school, uh, I'm going to try to pronounce this. Let's see if I can do it. Um, the first one was Mirio Togata. Uh, he's the one that kind of has like, I don't know if it's a blank face or just a... It's a, it's it's a, a very the, generic face. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Which actually Midoriya met him, in the, I believe, in the episode beforehand. But uh, in any case, uh, the next one is Tamaki Amajiki. And the last one, uh, her name is... Nijire Hado. If I butchered that na- those names, I'm sorry. It is what it is. But in any case, uh, they, they are the big three. They, uh, In fact, actually, uh, Mirio uh, is said to be the closest to be number one, mm-hmm. including of all the pros in that, in that too. So uh, apparently he's really good. But in any case, um, our first impressions, though, of the big three, they're kind of weird. Uh, let's see, what was it, Tamaki, like, he was trying to talk to the students, but, you know, he was trying to imagine them as, like, <laughs> they were all potato heads or whatever, and he just, that, that didn't work, so he yeah. just kind of was like, yeah, I'm just going to go over here and uh, <laughs> just do my own thing. Uh, uh, Hado, she was kind of like, she had this sort of, like, she airhead was mint- everywhere. Yeah, she was, like, just everywhere, like, asking questions, like, hey, what's this, what's that? Blah, blah, and just, if you break your horn off, will it grow back? I know, right? It's like, <laughs> Ah. And then Mirio, mm. um, yeah, he's also kind of weird too. Like he was, he said something like, uh, he was trying to make a joke, but it, no one really got the joke. And it's just like, okay. But um, he actually also, uh, Mirio, try, uh, was like, hey, uh, instead of me trying to explain everything, uh, let's just have you all fight me. And everyone's just like, yeah, okay. So they all moved to the gym. Uh, and everyone in that class, except for Todoroki, who elected not to fight because he was, uh, he's not a, he didn't get his um, license. Uh, license, yes. And then uh, Bakugo is still under house arrest. So. Oh, yeah. Besides those two, everybody else tried to fight him. And, like, he was just kind of phasing everywhere, losing his clothes. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, power. <laughs> and he all took... All over the place. Yeah, power all over the place. And he <laughs> took everybody down. Deku actually did predict where he was going to show up at, but it didn't matter because he just phased through Deku and punched him and all that good stuff. So, yeah. yeah and uh, afterwards, uh, Mitoru asked him, like, you know, hey, do you guys think my quirk is, you know, really powerful? And they're all like, yeah, you got, you're actually way too overpowered. Mm-hmm. And... He's like, well, no, it's not my quirk that's overpowered. It's just the fact that I've been, you know, practicing with it. And uh, apparently he was at the bottom at one point, but because he's been practicing with it and, and, you know, worked his way to become the top where he's at right now. So, um, you know, he's been doing it, practicing with his quirk uh, through trial and error. Like, uh, you know, he has to, like, really focus on how he uses it, where he... Uh, he has to predict what his enemies are going to do and, and all that good stuff. So, uh, again, it's not so much that his quirk is overpowered. It's just he's really experienced with it. So, um, in any case, at the very end, he emphasizes to that uh, as interns, they're not just there to watch on the sidelines. They're there as sidekicks or even as pros. So they got to take it seriously. So mm-hmm. that was the end of, of his thing. And uh, I think after that, what was it? Midoriya was trying to call up Gran Torino to get uh, someone to train him, or to have him train yeah, him. Yeah, actually, I yeah, think. yeah. And uh, well, he he was too busy, so he's yeah. like, "Oh no, 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 not not you. You you need to call All Might's former sidekick." And that kind of sparks some kind of like, "Oh," like, <gasps> and yeah. uh, then then we you know fade away because we can't know too much about that right now. Right. Um. Then uh, there was some other little bits, but we also went to the League of Villains, where Twice was bringing Overhaul in to meet the rest of the gang, and 
nefarious deeds were about to uh, go yeah. down. Yeah. So, um, with that being said, I think that's kind of where yeah. it all wrapped up and big cliffhangers were left. So, uh, season four was announced, and here we are. Yeah. So, all right. I guess we should get into this because um, we've been waiting for several months. So, let's do it. No, nice little flashback. Yeah. <clears throat> so, are we just going to go rewatch all the highlights, I guess? That's, that, that's fine with me. Yeah. Just kind of a refresher. Actually kind of shows his growth really quickly because right. he used to cause so much damage to his limbs and fingers and stuff. It's your turn. Kind of curious about the opening. Hmm. You know, with 80% of the world having a quirk, you got to feel really left out if you right. don't have one. <laughs> I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. right there. You go do it, Deku. Just a whole lot of nice posing shots, honestly, is all this is. Got the big three and some more overhaul right I think that's who yeah mm. Mm. that <laughs> he really needs to get a new costume <laughs> yeah but if he transforms that one's gonna explode <laughs> well he's not supposed to transform anymore but I guess <laughs> He should just have a suit now that has, like, built-in padding. All right, yeah. <laughs> or, like, have a sand suit that, like, stays, like, doesn't tear up. Like, whenever they go to the Ozaru, like, it's, they still, <laughs> still stays on them. Yes. Ah, oh, then we gotta start here. Yeah. Ah. Oh. States smash. That was a rough episode to watch, honestly. Right. <laughs> right. <sighs> I see some things don't change. <laughs> How did he? Get I know, in? right? Oh, well. Yeah. What's up with oh. his eye? I don't know. It's like really creepy. Maybe that's his quirk. Just star. <laughs> he does it better. <laughs> so many sparkles coming off of him.
Is he <laughs> <laughs> gonna break his camera. I know, right? Is he off the house arrest now? Uh, yeah, the last episode was his last day, oh, I think. gotcha. Clearly, this is the successor to All Might. <laughs> No, this is a successor to All Might. I'm sorry. Honestly, in a subtle way, this is another reintroduction to all the characters again. Yeah, probably. Well, whenever they print this, they're going to put a big, big target on him. Right. I mean, he's kind of already got one on on him, anyways. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> like you might break him. He's he's so fragile though. <laughs> wow. <laughs> But he's not now. Oh, is that his quirk? Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh. I thought his quirk was just a mix. Mm. Of, whoa, that's creepy. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Whole body lens. That's even worse. <laughs> that does not help at all. <laughs> wow. Oh, Deku touched the picture. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this guy could probably figure out who Batman is. <laughs> He seems like a nice guy, but... I don't trust him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess that's one way to do a selfie. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> no. Ew. Oh. That just Why? makes it mean even weirder things. Why would he have to say it like that? Oh, that was rude. We said goodbye. Jeez. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Well, at least in a way, he was honorable that he didn't out Midoriya right. as that. Well, he could be in league with the League of Villains. Tell them. Right. Mm.
Okay, so that was a good uh, episode, at least to reintroduce ourselves to all the different characters and all the different highlights and stuff that happened uh, within the previous seasons, especially following Deku. Yeah. You had mentioned how it showed Deku and how fast he progressed and everything. So Yeah. It was started starting off with, you know, his broken finger and a broken arm. Right, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but now he's using his legs, so... Mm -hmm. and that's a good thing and uh, again reintroducing us to all the different characters uh, you, you even yeah there's a breakdown of all their abilities yeah because a lot of them i did remember but i guess i forgot the specifics of yeah, what they right. were so i was like okay that's that's nice and like i said some things change and some things just stay the same especially uh what's his name you know him being as uh perverted as, oh yeah as uh, he is yeah 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 minata yeah, yeah. Right, but speaking of uh, creepy, so how about that uh, uh, photographer or the uh, journalist? Journalist, romance? yeah. So, uh, well, no, he definitely like... he definitely isn't the right profession for his. Uh, it's true. His work that is true. Although I can see him as kind of a, like a spy too. Actually, he, yeah, he could be a good spy, which uh, I guess is very effective. A, a good episode. voyeur, I guess. I mean, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess there's uh you know that he could be a good movie director yeah i guess so but that would be really creepy try to like oh here yeah. we get the film oh that's yeah never yeah. mind yeah never mind. so you gotta have somebody around you with like a a reel to reel or something collected right, and that would be the worst job ever. never it's mind like, yeah but no it's uh <laughs> i i mean as creepy as that quirk is it is pretty interesting you know i was like that would be very useful, uh, way very useful for our channel because then we just like, well, oh yeah, <laughs> cameras everywhere. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I don't remember him in the manga at all. So I mean, I might have just, just maybe it's been so long since I read it, but so he's kind of like a filler. I, guess. I mean, I don't, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't remember him being a thing, but yeah, I think it was a good way to introduce it nonetheless. Right. Right. So, and you know, again, he seems pretty smart for good or bad, I guess. Because yeah. like I said, he probably figure out who Batman is. And yeah, and that was a good point. He might have been working for the League of Villains. That's true, yeah. That would be oh. especially bad if he was like in the DC Universe. Like, oh, I know who Superman is. How? How? It's like, oh, you just got to do this. No one else knew that. What? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, but no, like, I mean, he is, seems to be pretty smart. And I... I don't know, like, at the very least, I would think that some of his feelings towards All Might are genuine, because uh, mm, he did save his yeah. dad, so, or at least that's the impression that would give Maybe he did. Maybe that could have been all made Maybe up. he just said his dad was there. Mm. He didn't, I don't that's remember true. him saying that he was saved or not. That's Maybe true. his dad committed the... Maybe he committed it somehow. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, he was yes. there. Yeah, he was there, so, but, I mean, overall, though, I mean, as creepy as he was, like I said, he, he did seem to have a very interesting quirk, so... Mm -hmm. And it did fit his job. Yeah. yeah. So, um, what else was there? So overall, what do you think of the episode? Uh, as a reintroduction, I'll, I'll give it a thumbs up. It, it was okay. Yeah. I mean, just to kind of get us back into the groove of things. And uh, clearly, if, uh, from what we saw from the previews, we're going to really start getting back to the meat, meat and potatoes of, of the story. So, yes. Yes, meat and potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, potatoes no. especially for the big three guy oh yeah yeah <laughs> it's true right yeah but i mean overall it was it was good um what, what did y'all think of it jackie i Thoughts? liked it yeah. had, it had little angry gremlin bakugo so i'm happy okay yeah did you uh were you angry with um deku the mo the scene with deku and uh um uh, uh what's your name oh Uraraka. yeah no, no it's fine it's fine okay it's fine. okay <laughs> okay yeah, I mean, uh, it, was a, it was a good episode, a good way to bring us back into it after a whole season break. It was like, what uh, was it, six months? It was long enough that we did have the movie in between this as well. So, True. And I think they even referenced that for yeah. a second before they were like, no, 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 not right. that. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, but yeah, overall I thought it was really good. A uh, good way to get us started, uh, you know, especially after the break. Yeah. I mean, if I were, if I were binge watching it, I don't know how I'd feel about it. I'd probably just be like, oh, I knew all this. Yeah, what are we doing? Yeah, skip. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Or, or maybe, I don't know, because, again, that reporter guy could be that could be a thing. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I mean, they showed as I was, like, watching him, so he's got something going on. Right, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, any other final thoughts? Can't wait for the next episode. Yeah.
True. <laughs> well, uh, in that case, then I'll go ahead and end it here. So what would you all think of this episode? And what would you all think of the Creepy Reporter Guy? Let us know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this reaction, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell beside it. And if you'd also like to consider supporting our channel, we do have links down below for all that. And if you might have noticed, this episode will be shorter. So if you want the full reaction, go to our Patreon and support us there. And we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.